Okay, guys. <clears throat> this is my take on this whole 3080-3090 uh, scandal going on right now. <laughs> and some of these, uh, you know, so-called uh, influencers, they all got their opinions. You can see behind me, uh, see who posted this? Her Haru Kazi five seven one nine, otherwise known as I don't know who he is. I want to get rid of my. Uh, let's turn off my big fat face. All uh, right, here's some of the back of the video card. The capacitors, uh, SPDs, or pause caps, whatever you want to call them. The different side designs on the back of the GPU. I think you see the top left, Founders Edition. To the right, Palette RTX. Uh, bottom, Zotac. All SPDs and middle MSI. I'm just looking at these while I'm going to. Palette and MSI look similar, except the MSI looks like it's a lot better soldering. Look at that soldering on that palette. Uh, I don't know who did that one. That doesn't look too hot. Then the Asus Tough Gaming Overclock. Um, and also the regular Tough Gaming non-overclock has the same uh, capacitors. All right. Come back to that. All right. This is Tech yes City. He's showing two Toughs in today's video. I'll just... Another thing that's been raised on the internet is that Jay's Two Cents recently posted a video talking about this whole issue. He sure did, and <laughs> you know they might be onto something. They might not be. Um, let's see things all over Reddit. Now that we have actual concrete details as to what's causing the. So why don't you go ahead and watch this. Here's Andy over at E-Technics. They don't know what to do. So I thought I'd go live. Um, I'm going to wait for some people to come in and then I can sort of comment on it because I consider no, myself no, no. anywhere or any of the video content that I do. He didn't have any uh, Gaming OC 39. Pause that one. All right. Here's what started all the controversy. Eager's Lab. And I'm looking at the English version of this page, possible reasons. And it's my understanding we don't call them pause caps unless they're made by Panasonic. It's actually a brand name, they're SPDs. So we got that part wrong. Wrong component selection. So they're looking at this thing. Same thing. And we just looked at over here. But this is a diagram of it. All right, so basically, it brings us to point. Let's see what else? I'll have to simplify the following for better understanding. Below the BGA, six necessary capacitors for filtering high frequencies, voltages, rails, and VVDD and MSVDD. High frequency from the garbage, or high frequency garbage. So, some of these boards use cheap. Uh, these are not pause caps. These are SPDs. So that's just he's just using that word. That ain't nothing to hold against this article. So here's um, Founders Edition below. See what that looks like. All right, this looks like the Zotac pick. Yeah, it is. 
You can see that sloppy soldering on that thing. I wouldn't even buy, touch that card with ten foot pole. An MSI below, or excuse me, Aces. Which one is this one? Yeah, Aces tough right here in this one. So, and now he goes on. He made his own YouTube video about it. I recommend you go watch this one also. And it's right here. Test book coming out of me. Shop my I actually. <lacht> Ob die Temperaturen stimmen, da sieht man auch, wie gut oder wie schlecht so ein Chip ist. Um, so he goes on and on, shows all the same stuff. Uh, SP cap, he's listing it right here. Same thing as in his article. Uh, if you understand German, you might want to read that. I'm going to pause that one. Now, um, what I have not seen, and it's kind of angered me, everybody's doing these frames per second, freaking, you know, benchmarking all these stupid games. Nobody's actually stress testing the freaking cards. Why? I mean, what is everybody's freaking problem? Uh, just run the stress test. Here's, remember last year when the 5700 XT came out, July? And all of a sudden, everybody freaked out it at 115C hotspot, which it does, and it still does, and it did. And it doesn't affect the card because they designed the card to handle it. Now, this is where the probable, the problems probably are in um, the NVIDIA. They just didn't get it right on the first go around. That's probably why they didn't make a lot of them, because new architecture, they doubled up. You know, they can say they doubled, they just made a double pass. They, whatever they want to call it, tensor cores, CUDA cores. They didn't get their power delivery right. Okay, so last year, AMD did the 5700 XT, however, they, this is issue number one. They still had bad drivers from July till September. I guess my machine rebooted once or twice a day. Machine rebooted from bad drivers. Finally, I think somewhere around September 24th last year, AMD came out with a good driver where it was stable finally. So we got brand new GPU architecture with NVIDIA here. And it's... Uh, you know, give them some time to, you know, work on the drivers a little bit. Everybody's freaking out, calling it hardware. Now, this is my video right here where I water-cooled the 5700 uh, XT. I got a 35C temperature drop using this Bix Bixki uh, water, GPU water block. Highly recommend them. Uh, from what I see, they actually cover more chips than the rest you know like say ek now i'm not saying it's better block but in my opinion i don't have any issues whatsoever recommending bixky over ek this is me so here's what the this is my video i'm gonna just let it play Let's for a minute dive, in there. this is after i got it all put back together water cooled the 5700 xt and it's about to start showing. So what I did is I ran Prime 95 for the CPU and yeah, Furmark at the same I time. Did, uh, Tried to burn both of them for an hour. So everything's going back what's, together. What's not being done, what I'm going to pause for just a second. Three different. Um, this is screenshot. You can see while it's running the GPU temperature hotspot getting up to 104 memory temperature 92C at the top shot. And it got up to 105C over there's hardware info at the bottom on the right. These guys are not running GPU Z and while they're crashing, they should be. I'll, this will more than likely their GPU sensors are going to show where it's crashing at. 
We'll start this up again. And over at the top right, I got AMD, what the drivers showing the temperatures, um, what AMD said. They can do the same thing on NVIDIA. They got their own utilities for this. Um, so you can see I got 99% GPU load right there. Um, I'm going to run it again for a minute. Test. And I'll pause for a second. Up. This is before the GPU ADM, uh, AMD Radeon. It's under load. Graphs but before the GPU water mount. Also hardware info 64, HW info 64. This is before the original AMD blower on the AMD Radeon 5700 XT Anniversary Edition. And as you can see, this is after a 15 minute test. My hotspot temperatures went up to 105C. My GPU memory was sitting at around 92C. This is when everybody else said we're making it up to 110 C. Uh, everybody started complaining about it for a while, and AMD came out and said, "Well, this is normal, and it is normal on these blower-style cards." However, after I installed the Bixby water block, my hotspot temperature went down to 69 degrees, which is plus or minus 35 C temperature drop. So that's great. So I went on to further run for Mark for one hour and it only came up two more degrees to 71C. And you can see my memory after an hour of fur mark running on the GPU full load, my memory temps only reached 78C. 35C plus or minus temperature drop. Okay, I'm gonna pause it right there for a second. Um, I can actually get out of it. So, right now, everybody's looking at these capacitors. That's not necessarily the problem. It could be on the other side in the memory. The memory's getting too hot uh, because of the power delivery here. But nobody knows right now. All these guys over here say uh, they're guessing. They're but. What they're not doing is they're not monitoring the sensors all the time. Uh, Windows 10 and every version of Windows had debug symbols that, and also, you know, under Windows system, where is it? Okay, event viewer. So we're gonna start this. Also under your Windows log, under your system, you'll get events. It'll tell you what's going on. And if it's an application, you should get an application log uh, giving you the start messages. From there, you can load Windows debugger uh, symbols, and it'll give you a lot more specific information. So these little ding-dongs, they're running game tests, frame per second tests. Uh, there's more of them. I think most of you'll probably know who all the major <laughs> YouTubers are. <laughs> Douche tubers. Um, I'm just gonna try not to say anything bad about them. Yeah, go ahead and run your frames per second. Don't put it under any stress test at all. Put it under a real freaking stress test. Oh, golly. Sometimes these guys get so annoying. They're, they're all concerned about making their YouTube views, their money, optimizing their profit, uh, game sales, uh, hardware sales. Oh, I'm going to make me another Corsair video. Corsair gives me all the parts when I use it, uh, pays for all my stuff whenever I do a Corsair video. I don't respect these guys anymore. All they all they're doing is running games frames per second tests. And now you got any issues with your 3080 and 3090 cards. Put it under real freaking stress test. Run fur mark. Do what you're supposed to be doing. Quit acting stupid. All right, so today you're probably going to see lots more of this fun stuff. Um Let me go. 
Turn on my cam again over here. So all over Twitter, these guys, oh my gosh, what are they doing? I'm like, really seriously, seriously, what are they doing? What are they thinking, man? Run your stupid stress tests. Amazing, amazing that they sit there and they sit there. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> whatever, dudes. You know, so all day long you're gonna see this in your feed. Um, this is keep scrolling through here. All right, so there's Hexus on Hexus.net on 3090 OC 3D. They had a story on it. Um, so I keep one. I keep uh, one browser just. For the people I piss off. Okay, here we go with hardware on Bucks and Tech Yes said he said, Yeah, my two aces has got this design. Here's Andy over here on eTechnics. Um we're all talking. Well run your stupid stress test, guys. Run your stress test. Do what you're supposed to be doing. Go back to what you know is right. Right? Load your Windows debug symbols if your thing's crashing. Your developers and everything else, and the NVIDIA, they're going to figure this out. But these douche tubers, like this guy right here, and a lot of the others, everybody's coming out with their videos. Well, what we think. No. No, what you think. You're just repeating what Augur's lab said. And there's probably some truth in it, but they don't know right now. It could be a stupid driver issue. I mean, like I said, from last year, July till September 24th, the 5700 XT crashed every day. Every day. <laughs> <And like. coughs> but this guy right here, yeah. Ugh, they just irritate me. I bet over here in my subscriptions, I got 10 more videos at least in the last two days on this. Uh, here's another guy talking about the, there's another RTX 3080 video on it. Okay, why is Tech yes, why is my desktop crashing on 3890? Um, so here's WCCF Tech talking about his uh, powerful, his colorful, uh, 3080 and anyway they're just going on and on Jay's two cents there's the one from him da 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 then you got these news channels like Gamers Meld or Graphically Challenged man it's just like they just regurgitate what everybody else is saying it's like a, a circle jerk the point is is they get to where they're feeding off of each other the same bad stories but come back over here, run your stupid stress test. Get out Furmark, which is running in the background right there. Y you know, water cool. Water cool one of these things. Their big ski box are available, so are EK blocks. Other ones will be out shortly. Give them some time. I'll stop complaining. I just want to give you my take on that. So peace out, guys. Talk to you soon.